Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, where last time you saw me, I, I dueled against Anzu, aka Taya, with Sparks of 28, and completing the first story of Duels of the Roses. Now, after beating Taya a couple of times and getting some new cards, we can go to London to go against Tristan Gray. Hold it! You're not the one they call the duelist, right? If you want to go any further, you'll have to face me and my crab walking strategy. From what I from what I remember, Tristan happens to be the most easiest opponent. Let me move the camera. It's much different than what it looks, but okay there. Nothing's really changed since the last time you saw me, so yeah. You missed nothing much. Last time when you guys heard me and Sparks were talking about the Yu-Gi-Oh relationships, yeah, the camera went off so you didn't quite hear what let us finish. The, the video didn't quite let us finish. So, <laughs> wasn't the video for that, not us. Up, oh, my friend Adam just left. Alright, looks like it's just me. Alright. I'll place the launcher spider face down in. There. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. I see the camera is not showing up the defense points of it. Oh, that's right. Let me move my, tele my TV back. And I just noticed that you can't actually, um, you can't actually cut off some parts. So yeah, kind of apologize for that, but whatever. The thing about it is if I have to cut off, I have to cut off right now. I can't really stop with the, stop with anything. I have to keep on going no matter what. Oh, speaking of the devil. Hey Jeremy, you're just in time to see me play du record Duelist of the Roses. Let me show you on camera. I'm trying to get my camera to... Hold on, be back in... in... Alright, we're back, and even though Jeremy can't talk because his parents are sleeping, I will be saying everything, I'll be him. He's saying, yay! Okay, then let's just go on. Now, um, <clears throat> Jeremy, if you're paying attention, this duel is the most easiest duel ever. Tristan is not that hard. My friend played against him a million times and he never lost. Trust me, Tristan is that easy. And, yeah, Jeremy says, Yu-Gi-Oh! is his favorite next to Pokemon. LOL. Oh, Tristan. My voice gives me super strength. What was he yet? Oh, God, not that one. No. Alright, Launcher Spider will destroy Patrician of Darkness. I still don't know how that's still an... That should be a new card from the, the 2013... And Jeremy says, that was his voice in the first few episodes. True. Okay. From what he meant was, um... <clears throat> when he said, My voice knows Kung Fu! And my voice gives me super strength! Jeremy, I think this duel's about over. And he, he'll get some nice crispies. Oh, BRB. Uh. 
Hmm. Oh, he's back. I made. I lost 1,000 life points because I attacked the direct because I have more defense power than it. No, actually, no. I lost 200. Pardon, pardon. I messed that up. Well, you can't. They can't stop me from summoning my zomb my shadow ghoul. He says, so delicious. You know better, Todd. Good choice. Okay, then. Alright, whatever you say. Ah, Leo gun. Nice choice. I really wasn't paying attention. But, since I know where this monster is, I can defend myself from it. Per se, hmm, from certain un attacks. For instance, this in defense mode. That in defense mode. That over there. Him over there. And turn. Words of wisdom from the top trainer of the world. Yep, that's Johnny. Might as well say that, Jeremy, before Johnny starts getting mad. He'd be like, no, I'm the best trainer in the world. Yeah, my foot. Oh, no, my ass, actually. What the hell? He says, no, not him. Moy, my ass is the best trainer in the world. Very, very nice, very nice. I'm sure our viewers would love to hear that. Oh, crap. Um. Zombie. Push over. There. Now I can summon another monster. Says, I love you viewers. I hope I get the chance to bite your faces off. JK. Joke's on you. And that's all for this turn. John is Callan. Oh, John. John is Colin? Oh, I can't answer right now. I'm recording. That's the problem with this right now. And besides, it's getting pretty late. I mean, I may do one more after this, but... High chances I may not be able to. Besides, he left earlier. As soon as I tried to get him back, he left because... Well, I have no idea. It's still a mystery. He says, how does Duelist of the Roses work anyway? Um, <clears throat> well, each turn, basically, oh, I wish you'd seen this from the very beginning. That would be so easy to understand. Um, basically, Duelist of the Roses work is that each turn you get to place one card on the field. No matter if it's a monster, magic, or trap card. And there are certain stars on, certain stars on the top there. If it says seven... You can summon a 7-star monster without sacrificing. But if this game is so different than regular dual monsters, because this game was certainly made to... Uh, this game was made before the actual Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Because back then, um, you don't combine monsters. You normally use a polymerization card, but in this game, it works so much differently. And don't worry if you get confused. I mean, most people get pretty confused on the aspects of this game, too. So, don't worry about it. He says... Oh, he'll, he'll watch the vids, and he'll say, interesting. Oh, and Jeremy, guess what? I won. Yep, I won, because life points went to zero. 
Easiest duelist ever. Now I need to get some good cards from this deck. Like this one, this one, and that one. Cabanola, Warrior, Leo Gun, and the Drip. Dirt deck. It looks like I'm in the Shadow Zone, Broski. You mean the Shadow Realm, or etc., etc.? I don't believe it! You beat the crap out of me! Tristan, you're easy to beat. I really don't even care. It looks like you have another different place to go to, which we'll go there next video. So, I will see you guys then.